Back to Princeton TV, and we're with the Shrek. Shrek <laughs> I'm trying to say Shrekters. The Shrekters. Ah, I'm trying to be quick. I'm not you. I'm spun. You're you, trying to be quick, and you're you failing. Could, you couldn't even improvise <laughs> farting. Don't even try. You could not improvise farting at a Bean concert. I'm funny. I know. What oh I'm wow! <laughs> you read that in the comments. We have the Shrekters. Let me give you the preamble. This is Mauer Productions on stage. Mauer Productions on stage is a completely volunteer-based, non-profit theater company. It was founded with the mission to support the community by offering creative opportunities to actors, artists, and theater craftsmen. That excludes you. Cut, cut it in the half. company is also dedicated to equal measure to making arts more accessible to central New Jersey, and that's what they do. And we have with Absolutely. us Dan John Maurer and Lori Gouger. And uh, coming on to promote Shrek, of course, but again, yes. some more background. What, what about your, your creative side guests that brought you together, and what have you been doing with Maurer Productions? Why don't you start since well, you started Maurer Productions? Okay, Maurer Productions started in 2004. It was our way of, of getting into community theater. We'd already been doing theater for a long time, and uh, we wanted to be able to produce shows that we thought people wanted to see. And um, it was started by myself, my wife, and my brother. Mm -hmm. And uh, we now have a board of uh, eight members that uh, mm -hmm. help produce the shows every year. We Kelsey do two to three theater. shows a year. And we were, actually, we're, we're housed at the Kelsey Theater. We're one of uh, ten theater groups that use that facility. And now you're putting on this Big Bang production of Shrek. Costumes, Huge. the whole thing. Very, very mm. excited. Shrek was a movie that about 15 years ago everyone fell in love with. It turned the animated feature kind of on its head, Fractured Fairy Tale. Mm. And it was something for kids to go to and enjoy, but then there was a whole other level of adult humor. So it was a really natural candidate for a musical and for something that families could do together that everyone in the family would be able to enjoy. So we're mm. real excited. The, these, it was it had a, about a two-year run on Broadway, mm -hmm. and then it's only when it ends on Broadway that local community groups can license it. Generally, the process goes that it's on Broadway, it kind of catches an audience, then there'll be a national tour, and after that it's available to community theaters to license so that amateur actors can have some fun and play, and it also Very makes it more... Very good amateur actors. Yes, I did see. Amateur didn't mean poor quality, just no, meant volunteer, and it makes it a more affordable theater experience Sound for the music. general public. I saw Sound of Music, Kelsey Theater, 400 people, not a bad seat in the house. It was 17.95. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. What are we going to get with Shrek? What are we going to get? The costumes, the act. What, you know, with Shrek, you're going to get an amazing visual experience of it really being transported to that world. You're going to get some amazingly talented actors. We have a cast of 35 people to bring this story you to life. Them. You, the we auditioned them. We auditioned them in January. Yeah. We did it auditions a little bit early because it was such an intricate show in terms of costumes. And, and they can't and start the costume creating. Director is well, he's he uh, the technical I'm a, I'm a director. Technical we have director. a, we, a uh, costume Kathy Slothauer as well. Kathy is doing the costumes for us. And she couldn't start working on the costumes until we had measurements for our actual actors. So we auditioned. She right away brought him in and started to do some measurements. She's creating costumes for all of the the people and non-people roles in Shrek, and she's having a, a great time, really letting her creativity go. So you got you got great Shrek people, and who's going to be Fiona? Absolutely. Um, our, our lead actors are amazingly talented, and we're really fortunate in this cast that even our supporting actors and our ensemble actors are people who generally take leading roles in other productions. Oh, wow. And they were so excited to be a part of this show because it's relatively new and because um, Mauer Productions on stage really has a good reputation within the community theater uh, community mm -hmm. that it will be a positive experience for them and a good quality show. So we are... Real excited. You have a background in music, but you're doing do. the directing for this, and then you collaborate with a musical with director. With a musical director, and, and you, you have a symbiotic relationship. We do. It's been it's been a really um, fun journey for me since about 2006 when I started to be involved at Kelsey. First as an actress on stage. Um, I'm a music teacher in public schools, so as soon as uh, information of that got out. Then I was asked to music direct a lot of shows, and I also really love directing. So this is, a, this is the first time I've directed in a few years. I've been doing a lot of music directing, and it's nice to get to you know, see things from a different angle. Uh, and John, John but, so anyone, when you say it's accessible, for, let's say I just show up one day <coughs> and I go, I want to try out, that's it? You can try out? Yeah, as long mm -hmm. as there's a show going on, you can try out. We have open auditions. We do not precast any of our shows. Uh, not only are there positions on stage, but there are also technical positions. If you want to learn set painting or costuming or lighting, uh, you can help our volunteers work in those areas and pick mm -hmm. up some new skills. But don't you bite after? I mean, doesn't it kind of get frazzled to do such an elaborate production and then cast and run people? I mean, are you nice people? There's, we are nice people. We like there, to think there so, are, yeah. you, There are always <laughs> moments in any project that you take on. 
-hmm. where you're going to have your frustrated moments because it's it's so many moving pieces right. to put right. everything together. But overall, the positive far outweighs the negative or people wouldn't keep coming back and, and doing it. This isn't your first production. No, mm -hmm. but I, my, my husband likes to say that it's somewhat like childbirth, that you go through it it's and then okay. you have that amnesia when right. you have your second child of how right, difficult right. it was when you're in in the thick of it but, but it's fun even when it's overwhelming it's the, a, the idea is that it is hard work but the idea is not to make it frustrating right if it's not frustrating if it's hard work but you have a good outcome at the end people enjoy it and they will come back and they will do it again. you still have about you, do, you still need quality because you got to sell tickets to, you, I mean you're not trying to become millionaires but you want to be profitable right. for the next show you need and to make you, enough money able, to, right. to continue playing in the sandbox and you've had that track record you, absolutely right, right, so. we've had yes, a, we a few successful in a row that have enabled us to take on something like Shrek that is so technically demanding hmm. what are some shows that you'd like to do in the future there, you know, we tend to try to balance between things that are classic musicals. I know you mentioned Sound of Music That's at the Kelsey like Theater. 1995. Right. Gr you can theme. really go to see, you know, some classic old school musicals, some contemporary things, the new ones that are coming around the pike. You know, when, when something new becomes available for licensing, it's always exciting to be the first. We're the first to do Shrek in, in the area and at Kelsey. Um, but the, the classics and to, to introduce those to a, to a new generation is exciting as well. Mm -hmm. So... Musical theater has such a broad range of, of material to draw from. What about me, though? What, what would you see me cast as? Nobody cares about you. Yeah. <laughs> what, what? In, in New Jersey, they have these things called Perry Awards. They do. Perry Awards. Where you all get together, and it's for community theater people. Right. It, uh, the Perry Awards, it's NJ Act. They uh, uh, basically have a yearly event where they award community theaters in New Jersey. I think the last time there were like 800 people or so at the event. Mm -hmm. It was black tie. Um, Who just thought they have a, like a blue ribbon panel? That's well, generally you can you can be trained to be a reviewer, and then you go to see shows all throughout New Jersey, and you and you evaluate what you think the skill level of all the different components, the actors and the, the technical end of things, and it's it's very impartial. You know, I wouldn't be able to review my own show, or obviously I would have all the Perry Awards. Right, um, right. But it's it's actually much harder to be nominated because it's such a huge huge number of shows that are put on every year in the state of New Jersey, whereas the Tony Awards, which is Broadway, there's only a very finite number of, of Broadway oh, yeah. shows. And this, time. to even be on the radar of the Perry Awards, really means that you're, you're going above and beyond. And no one is in it for the accolades of winning a Perry, but it's certainly nice to be recognized for all the hard work. Well, anyone is in, in. The, in, the business, in the back of your mind, you must have like an Oscar speech still, even if you know it's a pipe dream. Oh. Sure, and that's yeah. the time you don't win. Well, well there are aspirations <laughs> where, okay, there, you start in community theater, then you can the regional theater and then you know then the gold gold prize would be Broadway the, the nice thing about community theater is some people are using it as a steppy stepping stone to move on to something but else. they're not married with they're just right. focused on one thing. and but some people are taking it in the opposite direction right. that you maybe you did have performance aspirations and now you've got a family you've got a, a, a day job and this is just something that you know you love to do right so you it's, still it's, want to play in huge, the sandbox you still want to play in the sandbox yeah. but it's you, their you, hobby. you know yeah. you're outlet yeah. and you get to work with other talented people who share your interests it's a nice it's a social outlet and it's also you you put on a product that you're proud of so what do you see me that what kind of role what do you see Kathy i think annie i think <laughs> annie for you yeah. what's the timeline for mm -hmm. shrek and what's the date with shrek's playing what shrek. right now what are you doing right now what is it we uh, begin yeah, rehearsals one, one on sunday <laughs> sunday is, is the very first rehearsal we've already cast we had a read through and our first music rehearsal with the right cast now. is is uh march 1st march First, second, tomorrow is March 1st. March 2nd is our first okay. rehearsal. Wow. And then we open May 30th, and it runs to June 8th. We have nine performances. May 30th, June 8th, 2014, Kelsey mm -hmm. Theater. Yep. Uh -huh. uh, and so you're going to have to be a drill sergeant, though, especially with the singing routines and everything. With uh, with 35 cast members, absolutely, because everyone wants to be the star every minute. And you have to make sure that everybody has their moment in the sun. Right. That's the payoff for all the time you put can in. Can you tell them that I'm the star? I can, no, but no. you're going to have to fight 35 other people no, for that but spotlight. Yeah. So you want, you want them, if they get there, you want them to have some of that, that stage It's a time. balance yeah. that you have to know when it's your turn and right. when, it's, when it's your turn to support the other people on the stage. Uh, mm -hmm. That's what makes a good production, just like artwork. You've got you, foreground what you, and background. What, while she's drilling the singers, what are you doing? Are you on? Uh, I'm working <laughs> backstage. Essentially, I do the set design. Uh, we have a lot of puppets in this show. There will be a 24-foot dragon on stage interacting with our actors and singing with our actors during the show itself. Mm -hmm. um, uh, essentially, that's it. Give us the website. Special effects? 
Oh, there's oh, tons, tons of special tons. effects. I mean, we have Jinji, the, one of the characters that has a major role in the show, uh, is a puppet that uh, gets to talk to everybody during the course of the show. The, um, we have characters that transform from uh, human to ogre to human and, to and ogre. Lord to Lord Farquaad, whatever it's going to be. Lord Farquaad, who is Farquaad. four feet tall. Um, it's very rare that you would find an actor who's four feet tall. Mm. So um, he plays the entire show on his knees. Mm, and that's the way it was done on Broadway. Pad. He has, we had to go through several pairs of industrial So people are going to give, their, not, yeah. not only their art, they're going to give their, their physical, physical body. Health. Absolutely. So yeah. this is a real Broadway experience in your Brunswick for like 20 bucks. Absolutely. Yes. You can't God beat it. It's less expensive than going to see a movie. Right. Yeah. It's a no-brainer. But us. let's go to the website where they can see more. They can see uh, uh, videos, premier, uh, promos, okay. and everything else. What's the website? Right. It's www.mponstage.com. Now uh, productions on stage. And right, on and stage you can uh, you can yep. be on our newsletter. We send out a newsletter several times a year. It'll give you more information about our show plus other shows at the Kelsey Theater. Uh, you can find out about auditions that are coming up. Uh, this is our last show for the season, but we will be auditioning for next year's show. So, mm -hmm. so get on that list. There's really like Brian DeSanto said. There's really no excuse if you really want to do something. No. You can fit into your schedule. Hey, you do it. And, and you can and you can get you act you can act absolutely and, you and, get I, some and I heard you speaking with them about people are missing out sometimes on the experience of going to a movie theater. Mm -hmm. This is one step beyond that. What's more exciting than getting to have the actors in the room right. with you? Right, you know, right. you have the community of the audience with and then special effects with you know <laughs> with everything live, right? and yeah. you never know what's yeah. going to happen when you go to see live theater. And maybe you'll cast me now. I'll come back to me. And and next I, time we do Annie. And I didn't talk about groupies. I didn't talk about backroom dealings. None of that. I, we won't go to that. <laughs> Well, that's really great. We got to get the great, great uh, names, please again. I, John Maurer, Lori Goucher. Um, that that Maurer Productions. They're going to be doing Shrek the Musical May thirtieth for nine shows. Nine shows at, 20, the, Kelsey at the Kelsey Theater. Please go to the website mponstage.com. Dot com. And I speak funny. But thank you very much, Fantastic. and we'll be right back. Thank you. Thank very much. you.